Have you been using Midjourney to create mock-up images for your e-com brand? We have, but one of the problems we run into is that there's always one part of the image isn't quite right. Wouldn't it be better if we could just edit that part out? With Midjourney, you have to re-prompt it from scratch and hope you get something that works. But that now changes. Without any real Photoshop skills, we can do some pretty advanced editing with AI using Adobe Firefly, which is a simple web app, or Photoshop Beta, which has all of their advanced features. Let's take a look. If you have this image that was generated with Midjourney, it's not perfect. The most obvious problem is this child with dog legs, but we can now edit this. So for example, if we want to remove this design because we want a blank shirt and put our own design on afterwards, we can just highlight that region, say remove, and it'll be removed. So let's wait for this to get processed. There we go. And we have a few different options. They're all just a little bit different, but as you can see, looks really good and it's as simple as that. We've removed the design. If we wanted to do that normally, that's probably a pretty advanced technique and one that certainly I wouldn't know how to do because I'm a complete beginner when it comes to image editing. We can look at another example where we can remove this child-dog hybrid and replace it with an actual dog. So let's just select this region here that we want to change and then we can write our prompt here. So dog facing camera being hugged by a woman. So let's try that. That doesn't look quite right, but we have some other options here. This hand looks a little bit strange. We can try to generate a few more. I think this one looks best. So we can stick with this one and say keep. And there we go. It's as simple as that. We can change the background as well if we want. So we can say put them in uh, on the beach. So woman and dog um, relaxing at a sunny beach. And we have a few options here. So what it shows is just the ability to make image editing much easier to work with. In the past, we'd have to use Photoshop or other image editing tools where you have to develop the skill. And now we can just write a few prompts, highlight the areas we want to change, and voila. We can also take a look at the Adobe Photoshop app where we can do much of the same things with the added tools that come with Adobe Photoshop. So this is the beta version, which has the generative AI tools available. But what we can do is something very similar to the editing that we did in the web app is so we can, for example, highlight this region here and say we want to remove it. And similarly, it'll give us a few options to choose from and we can select the one we like best. So we can stick with this one. They all look pretty similar. I think this one looks pretty good. What you can see here is that there's now a layer from the generative AI in painting that we just did. We can hide the layer and we can go show the original image and show it back and it'll just place it on top. And so it allows us to kind of roll back or forward whichever changes we like and gives us a lot more flexibility to work with the image than with the web app. Especially if you know how to use Photoshop, then you have all of the Photoshop tools available for you as well. If you're like me though, and you don't really know how to use Photoshop too much, you can stick with AI and still get a lot done with it. So for example, we change the image on the shirt. What we can do is we can also change the, uh, the, the dog child hybrid into an actual dog, similar to like what we did on the web version. Our prompt was a dog facing the camera being hugged by the woman. So let's see what kind of results we get from this. These look pretty good. Yeah, so we can go with say this dog here and we have a pretty good image there. Let's say we want to change the background like we did previously with the web app. We can use the quick selection tool and just select the background here. It's not quite working in this region. I'm not familiar with Photoshop, so I'm not sure why the quick selection tool isn't able to do that. So why don't we use our lasso tool and just work our way around? This most likely isn't the best way to do this. But again, if you're just a beginner with Photoshop like I am, Maybe this can do the trick. Let's work our way around, get some of the leg in there. And so this may not turn out very good, um, but I've selected the inside and I want to inverse it now. Okay, so now we've selected the outside regions. 
and let's try something similar. So a woman and dog sitting on a sunny beach. And let's see what kind of options we get from this. Not bad. By just doing that, we're able to change the background, change the dog, remove the design on the shirt, all in a matter of a couple of minutes with Adobe Firefly. These new Adobe AI tools can easily turn you into an expert image editor, and most importantly, helps you bring your visions to life without needing to rely on someone else. This is huge if you're an e-com brand and want to iterate quickly. If you're interested in learning more, Andrew and I have a longer discussion on this, which you can find around here. Thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments below if this was helpful.